What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be preparing for hunting on Saturday. Today is Thursday. Just want to make sure I'm completely prepared. So basically, uh I know some of y'all y'all see them I've already started. I know in a couple places it started on the first of September. Today is September twenty second, I believe, yeah. So, uh, our season opens on Saturday, got the stand, put in everything, hoping to bust the dough. If I can get video footage, I'm going to try, but it's kind of hard, because, uh, I'm hunting with my bow, because, uh... Alright, right now, it's almost dark, so I'm going to try and hurry and get outside. I'm going to try and just make sure I have everything on point. Here's my hunting arrows. Actually, just put new fletchings on those. Yeah, so those look pretty good. Uh, I've got extinguisher broadheads on here. Er, is that, no, I forgot what it is. Uh, Grim Reaper, I think is what it is. But yeah, I'm just going to take these two arrows right here out here with uh, the quiver on. So let me do that real quick. The shot so not bad about two inches off which is pretty normal so uh, I'm gonna take a couple more shots just to get ready and then I'll see you guys inside when I'm getting all everything ready my hunting clothes all that flashlights stuff like that uh, so, so this is proof if you stay in the shot then you have good success I'm gonna make sure I've got Everything I'm gonna put my pack my backpack together. But uh yeah, went and, or got my license already in my wallet. Here's my knife that I'm gonna be skinning or cutting the deer with. Uh I've also got just I probably won't use it, but I've got my grunt calls just in case. Or not just in case, but just cuz yeah I got my grunt call right here uh, so yeah this this stuff I'm gonna put in my pack right, so here's the deal I got my pack right here um, going to be taking uh, this I'm gonna be putting everything in this front pocket there's two pockets like that's the main pocket but I'm gonna be putting all this stuff in the front pocket just so I know where it is and in fact my uh, knife what I'm gonna do is it have this clips on the side so what I'm going to do is right, so knife is on there now just because uh, if I ever see a game one or anything I'm going to put in my wallet which has my license in it and this front pocket right here just so I know where it is and it's secluded I have to get doing digging through stuff and then I'll put my or my grunt call in this big pocket. I've got some other stuff I'm going to have to put in here later. But yeah, and then I'm going to leave my headlamp out because as I'm going outside, I'm going to wear it out because it'll be, you know, 5 o'clock in the morning. So, but yeah. Alright guys, so here's the plan on my clothes. So, um, it's, it's still, it's late September, but here in Tennessee, it's still hot. So basically, uh, it's literally like 80 something degrees, maybe. In the morning, it's going to be about 60, but, you know, once it, the, that sun comes up, it's going to be extremely, you know, terrible. So, basically, I'm trying to dress as thin as I can. So, I've got this really thin, it's almost, it's not see-through, but it's, you can see it's got holes in it. This really thin mask. I don't like painting my face because most of the time, even if you paint your face, like, after you stop sweating or anything, you're still going to get hot and sweat. So, I like something like this. Or don't have to worry about all that nasty. And I, don't, I really don't like painting my face anyway. But yeah, I got that. But when it gets into the late season, it's real cold. Then I have a lot heavier uh, mask for that. I just got one of those uh, Walmart $5 uh, long sleeve shirts. Uh, so it's not too hot, but it's not too cold either. 
uh, so it'll keep me warm in the morning and then I won't be too hot during the day now here's my problem is my pants uh, I don't have any thin like jean type pants all I have is these like sweatpants so I'm gonna have to deal with those I've also got some light gloves uh, for in the morning because my hands get extremely cold I don't know what it is but yeah and then I'm also gonna be wearing this visor over that mask but uh, I'm not I don't want to mess it up so I'm not gonna wash it but I do have let me show you guys this uh, I bought this the other day so right before we go out or as I'm gonna leave this or outside we're gonna spray ourselves down on my boots everything uh, but I am going to be showing you what we're gonna do to my clothes to wash them and I have this like laundry detergent that it's like sent. All right, guys. So here's what I'm working with. Um, this is this laundry detergent that's like the sent sent away uh, products. Hunter specialty. It's just cheap. I got it from Walmart a while back. But yeah, uh, it's supposed to be with the camo guard. So it says reduces camo fading, renews camo colors, protects camo fabrics. I don't know how true that is. Just saying that this is cheap. I'm not saying it's not. I mean, I could be wrong. But yeah, that's what we're using. And then we also have these dryer sheets. So right now, we're going to go to the washer and put this stuff in here with our clothes. And then we'll get to Alright, loading the clothes in here right now. Gonna just put them in here. Uh, also, I don't want to forget your underwear and socks. I'm not going to show that on camera because you probably don't want to see that. But uh, yeah, you want to do that. So basically, I've got this uh, laundry detergent which I'm going to have to find. So one second. Alright, so in the directions it says to use a quarter cup for this right here. So I've got a half cup and not much clothes. So I'm just going to do about half of the half a cup and pour this in here. Uh, let me do something real quick. So Yeah, we're going to go ahead and pour, try to pour this stuff in here so I'm gonna do that probably can't see that good but yeah don't have much of this stuff you left hopefully it'll last me till uh, hunt seasons over but yeah we're gonna pour about that much if you can see that and we're just gonna pour that in there all right so that's all we gotta do to get ready to wash it. So now all we gotta do, close the lid. We're gonna set this to small. We're gonna put it on cold, cold, and then we're gonna put no on the fabric softener. We're just gonna go to regular, and then you can push start. All right, so I'll get back to you guys when this is done. We'll move it to the dryer, and I'll show you what I'll do with the dryer. All right, so one thing I forgot to mention is, uh, so we're going to do all these clothes on the dryer sheets, but what you don't want to do is just go put these in your drawers or anything, because then you're just going to mess up the scent relief. So you want to get some of these uh, freezer Ziploc bags, the gallon ones, to put all your clothes, anything that's going to make contact with anything else. I mean, like my hat and my boots. You can spray those after you get done, but if you have smelly, not smelly necessarily, but like un, like scented clothes that are they're gonna have like a, a house smell, and the deer are gonna pick up on that really quick. Even if you do spray the scent away, it's just not gonna work as well. All right, so as you can see, our washer is done. So before we start, we're gonna prep the dryer. So first, uh, it's got stuff in it. But you want to make sure that you remove this, all this stuff down here that the filter is clean, all that lint stuff. But yeah, I'm going to take these out and then I'll show you guys. Alright guys, so here's my prep. I've got three of these gallon Ziploc bags. Uh, one is going to be for my shirt and then the other is going to be for my pants. And then the fourth one is going to be for my mask, my gloves, my socks, and my underwear. So yeah, so i got these dryer sheets. So what you're going to do... You want to take these, uh, look at the instructions real quick. Alright, so we can open up. So see that our clothes are ready. So I'm going to go ahead and put those. Alright, our clothes are in the dryer. So now we're going to take 
one of these sheets. I don't think I have that many left. Yeah, we'll take one of these sheets and just throw it in there. Since there's all right, guys. So it's about nine o'clock now. I started this video at about seven, so this has been a two-hour process of doing all this and just getting ready. But yeah, I've got my three um my three bags. So we're gonna go ahead and take those over. Dryer just got done. So here's what we're gonna do. Just because I don't want to, like, I'm going to try to just move this right from the dryer to the bag as easy as I can without touching anything. Right, guys, barely managed to get that, uh, the pants in the bag. Um, these bags really aren't that big. I, I would prefer the ones that click at the top, but these just have the ones that are slide. And one thing, whenever you're doing so like this, just to make sure you got it right, then you can get a sharpie and label stuff like shirt, shorts, pants, whatever. Alright, anyways, that's it uh, for that part. So we can zip up the bags. Alright, so I'll see. Forgot to mention, you want to make sure you kind of squeeze all the air out of these bags like this. Alright, got the sharpie, now we can label correctly. Hurt. Pants. Then I'm gonna do socks, undies, mask, and gloves. All right. So now. I've got my clothes done. Now, the reason I'm doing this on Thursday and on Friday is because tomorrow we're going to game and stuff. So, I just want to be prepared for that and not have to worry about it tomorrow. So, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and put this in my pack. Alright, guys. I know I just ended, sort of ended the video there, but I uh, just had to love you too. It's currently 10.52 right now. I've uh, been editing this video for a while. So, I had it edited and it was like 22 minutes long. And then, of course, uh, my computer would only let you do 15 minutes for YouTube videos. So I'm sitting here right now trying to complete the edit of just, um, you know, condensing it smaller. So if you see sort, sort of like weird cuts in there and things like that, then it's just because I had to condense the, all the footage down. Uh, there would have been a lot more better if I could have done 20 minutes of course but had to do with what I could so anyways hope you guys still enjoyed this video thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time